Hi, I'm Jody Espina, president and founder of Jody Jazz here at our factory showroom. Today I want to show you the keyless saxophone from Hollywood Winds. Why a keyless saxophone? The best use of this is to practice your harmonics. And uh, I think any serious teaching studio should have one of these. My advice would be when you start to introduce harmonics to a student, uh, even of course before Altissimo, we do these harmonics, I would take their horn away and give them this for a week and you'll see, you come back with some amazing results. So I'm gonna demonstrate what you can do with it. Obviously the first note is a low B flat. A lot of us, including me, have trouble just popping that out sometimes. So that's one good thing to get with this. Just get your B flat out right away. Now, we start with the harmonics. You know, I tell people when I'm trying to get them to play notes they have never played before, high notes, just raise your eyebrows. And uh, contrary to popular belief, I do have eyebrows. You just can't see them. But I'm raising them when I get up to those crazy notes that I can barely hit. So how did I do that? Uh, as a couple of things are going on. From my tongue goes up kind of in the back. And uh, that's how I'm doing that. Uh, so your tongue is moving to change the airstream, all right? Now, also, when I start going way up, I'm not going to lie to you, my, my mouth teeth change angle. They go a little back this way and might change angle a little bit. So there's some of that going on. We're trying to avoid biting uh, in just to get these notes out. Now, by having only this horn, I discovered things that are very interesting that I never, I've practiced harmonics on my regular saxophone, but I discovered things by having no options of keys. One was that I didn't want to start always tongue when I do these. By doing that, you know, I was hearing that note and I put my mouth in that position, my tongue, and no tongue means I had to be right on it, so I couldn't use the tongue as a crutch, a starter. So no tongue was very interesting to me, it made me more accurate. Another thing was uh, trying to play, like how can I make music with this thing, with just these harmonics? Uh, so check this out. So I haven't worked with it enough, but I think if somebody gets one of these, they can make actually quite interesting music. Give one of these to James Carter and you'll, you'll hear a symphony. Um, so as the notes, the harmonic series gets higher, they get, the intervals get closer together. Uh, see. You can kind of play, play a song up there. So some, just some things to think about and uh, professors, Call up Hollywood Winds. These are special order, but they're not too expensive, I think. And grab one of these for your studio. It's a powerful teaching tool and a practicing tool. Thanks a lot from Jody Jazz.